YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Legend. And today, let me see. I am trying to grind out mostly a free player in Ludek. It's gonna be a little sacrificial and burny and evil and demony. I think it's actually pretty good. But I'm not gonna know until I get to try it out. So let's play some ranked. That's my burrow stick. <laughs> All right, so this hand is pretty bad. This one's worse. I think I'm gonna mulligan again. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, there we go. Now if I could just hit my third land, I'll be good. Expect a shock here. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and get the extra points of black gain since it's a red deck. And next turn, if he doesn't have a kill spell, I will be pumping my healer shock to a two power creature to do the same thing. Yeah, I'm all in on this. It doesn't matter. Either you take three damage or you take two. Top deck land would be really good here. Especially if he kills my... Uh, so if I top deck a land, oh, it'd be so good. But I didn't, so. <clears throat> That's probably the game. Um, because I didn't hit my third, la my third land drop right there. <laughs> huh. Actually, I think I had, still have a chance here. If I can uh, hit some land drops. That's not what I got, though. Now it's definitely over. I wasn't able to get that burst of six damage on him. And then this is just gonna kill all my creatures. So the haste trample dinosaurs is just gonna kill me pretty quick. Um, yeah, I would have been okay, I think, if I would have hit my land drops on time. I do like this deck though, it's, it seems kind of fun. Sure. I don't know what my 
quests are. Alright, next game. That's bullshit. Play for. Sargons and Ceiling is a cool card. I want to use that. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. As long as my banner it lives. I'm playing my game. What are you doing? I'm playing my own game. Oh, that's cool. We got two games. It's the same game. Two games. I don't have to. I in this deck. That's what I call BS. I probably should have uh, just bombed attacked. That was a mistake. Now I can attack and still have blockers. Yeah, whatever. Let's trade it for one of his stupid guys. Should have traded for a freaking thing the turn before. At least this turn I would have two four power in the air. Mistake. I could have already had him down to like eight live. I'm too worried about this other stuff. Got that. Where'd you get? Where'd you get the mana to do that? I don't see where he had the mana to do that. I thought it was tapped out. Whatever. I mean, me hitting, missing this mana drops so is only gonna be the game anyways. Especially with this BS. Alright, well that's gonna kill me unless I hit a kill spell off the top. Oh, he's exploring, that's what it is. Oh look, I finally hit my land. Nice. Um... Really fine with me. I'm still trying to 
fight around, I think. I'm only able to gain two life returns pretty low. Of course, I could always exile this thing if I hit a fourth land drop. Yeah, and as soon as I do that, they won't be able to attack through my first striker. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, I, I really made that big mistake by not attacking with the goblin earlier. Now then, land or bust, basically. Come on. Bust it is. Well, chump it is. I guess I could still be okay. Damn, I could have won this game if I would have done that attack. Even with the fl or the mana screw, I just gotta live this attack, and then uh, next turn I win if I hit a land. If I can survive this attack, um, am I gonna survive this attack? Nope. Got murders. Oh, he's not able to use them. So I have 16 life, I can only take... So I gotta block the 8-8s. Eight eight. I am... living this attack. Means if I hit a land, I still win. Unless he's got a kill spell. So many chances to win this. I could have won this by myself just by making that attack a turn sooner. Oh. Oh, the sweet. Sweet. I mean, if he's got the kill spell, then there's nothing I could do about that. Oh, in that case. Maybe I should have played around, uh... Nope, I'm not gonna do about that. Good game. Yeah, I could have won earlier. I think if I would have made that play sooner. Or hell, if I would have actually hit my land drops. I did all I could. If I would have been able to hit my excellent binding or anything sooner. This one's better. Turn one, turn two. Ooh, all right. This is pretty good. Let's see if he plays red. <clears throat> nope, it's blue. Control maybe? If that's the case, I'd rather get the challenger out. I 
Oh, that was a mistake, actually. Because the Bannerant can really pump. I think playing this guy would have been better since he can't pump. Because um, once he wipes my board, I'll be able to have two pump, like play another pump creature. So I gotta play around a Wrath effect, which he's gonna have. Oracle reinforcements is actually pretty good too. Alright. Guess we're just gonna go down the chain. Yeah, see, I thought it. Save one of these two pump creatures for later, after he rasped me. It would have been better. But he can't wrath until turn five, huh? Oh. Nope, he needs double black, double white. And he needs double black to do minus two to everything. So he can kill one creature here. Um, do I overextend and just bum rush him? I think so, because then I have three to his face. Yeah. Or do I just... Attack as is. Let me save this and attack as is. Again. And I can guarantee four damage after he rests the board. Yeah, I like that better. Because I have a kill spell to follow that up. And it would have been better, no, because then I would have lost my banner at. Yeah, that was the best way I could attack. I was like, maybe I should have pumped the banner at, but I needed to get him over to toughness. Uh, yeah. I play 40 lands. Jeez. with the life gain. I probably should have played the removable resilient creature in case he plays red. Without green, I have the right creature then. If I had a kill spell, I would get... Uh -oh. Challenger might be better here, but better at guarantees and can pump the healer's hog. Yeah, I think I pump. That's yeah, a really. Oh, well, he's making the wrong blocks. He could have done the same thing. Blocks. Branch walker. Right? This is mono green, is it? What else has he got? I 
probably made the wrong attack last turn. Mm, if I would have. Yeah. I mean, he made the wrong block, so it's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Big creatures. And I think it's correct. Well, I'll force him a tray that's less resources for him. That's just one less, that's a turn that I could have made my healer's hawk out, um, bigger, basically. Right, and that's why you'd make the flyer bigger. Do I sacrifice this to make my... Put a three turn clock on there? No. That blocker's for days, so. Plus, once, um. As long as it doesn't have tramp on, I don't really care. I don't even know how you played this. Oh, come on, Yeah, I probably should have made this a three-powered attacker the turn before. Why are you playing the water game? I'm playing my card game. Go card play game? your game. I'm playing my own game. Yeah. And you're playing a card game. I'm playing the real game. You're playing the card game. I'm playing the real game. Mm-hmm. I have a pump spell to save my healer talk. Oh. No, I can't save it there. Alright. Well, I really need to hit my fourth land. A long time ago. Especially with that. See if I can get my um, fourth land yet. And that's it. Um, I just keep getting mana screwed. Like, come on. I've run 23 lands. Like, is that too much to ask? It's BS, man. I'm never gonna play my four lands like this. Playing two or three lands a game. It's gonna take good. Alright, this looks fine. Uh, first strike, probably. No marshmallows. Yes, no, I do need to get any marshmallows. Oh. So this is a Merfolk deck. I'm pretty sure. 
So rather than kill that if it was mono blue. Yeah, that's more folks. Save my shock for the pump chick. And I can race him. If I can hit my lands. Do I do the same thing he's doing? Just bomb rush through. Cause I can hit for seven right now. I should probably extend my board presence. I guess I could save him. I'll save them and then play another pumper. Do I play him or him? Yeah, probably this guy again. Threatened to just destroy because they they could get pumped for plus three, which is crazy. I like it. These guys are great in this mentor deck. I would say like a trickster. And I'll kill whoever tries to kill my guy, probably. It's gonna go straight for damage, I don't really care. If you can remove him from combat, I would do it now. That's fine. I would love a land, though. Take like, ah, should I attack? Maybe. Just oh, I can't even play Phoenix. That sucks. Only got one red. Hmm. I should have my second. This man has been killing the hell out of me, man. Take my first strike damage in. And I guess I probably should have left the shock up, but whatever. Did it again. 
Alright, a red source off the top would be nice. Alright, now I gotta think about how not to lose this game, since he can crawl back into it. Yeah, I think this is better. These guys again, they threaten to just outright kill him if left unchecked. And again, if they attack, I'm um, gonna just gladly block. Care if you draw cards now because I'm trampling over. <laughs> oh, I couldn't block with that either. Nice. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. Means I can play two cards this turn, or I can play the Phoenix. But Binding Shock seems like my best bet. Um, good binding this guy. There's your main blocker there. Shock this guy. And then hope that you want to trade him for my 1-1, one because -one, then I'll have lifelink to race you even better. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I can attack with the 2-2 lifelinker. Silver climbing up in the world trying to grind these cards out. Hell yeah. Alright, Boros. Boros aggro, let's do this. Not that you play that many lands. I'm trying to make my Cthulhu deck. Which is really a Rakdos sacrifice deck, but. What's this background noise I'm hearing? Is that the game? This is pretty good. If I can draw my third land, I need to make put, make it a second one of these and put that in the deck. I see red, I'm thinking shock, and this guy lives shock. If they want to spend their turn lightning striking, lightning strike, oh, okay, that's fine with me. I think I just make that alpha strike move. Just because it gets um gets him over pretty much everything. He's over shock and then from there he's gotta start killing these things. And short of lava coil, he's not gonna have anything. So I think that was uh worth it. Sure I could have put more on the board, but 
now you can't shock them. Yep, you have to have something like Wizard's Lightning, but not before uh, four toughness creature, which makes that pretty hard. I think I'm gonna go ahead and type with this guy. Yeah, it forced him to have a Wizard's Lightning. I forgot about Wizard's Lightning as a card. Um, again, if I get a two for one, I'm fine. Does have a Phoenix off the top as well? He's obviously trying to burn. I got the combo. These two Phoenix can hit for eight in the air. He's more than likely gonna shock that guy and try to do some burn damage, but. It's gonna need a lot. To get through this Phoenix, it's gonna run him out of resources essentially. War boss is actually just straight up better than um, drawing a land. Yeah, I'm the aggressor now. If I hit a land, the game's over. And if I needed to be defensive, defensive, I have the binding. I'm climbing for a side row, it's not bad. Hmm, hands kind of slow, but I'm going first, so you know what? That should be fine. I have bombs that I already have the mana to get to. Let's see what they're rocking. Alright, that's fine. Make sure I can protect this guy from a shock. I'm sure he's gonna uh, try to shoot out. No. I could play well, it's gonna be Phoenix. Now maybe it's Aurelia. I gotta watch out for counter magic as well. Give him nothing to use his counter magic on. Maybe it's better to fight through it. I don't know. I don't have much board presence. But I'm not gonna just let him counter something for free. Gonna burn him at the end of his turn though. It's fine. Just... <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time beating this deck. 
Yeah, I probably should have mulliganed for a quicker, quicker hand. To get more early presents. Just because uh, I can't get, I can't beat uh, that damn dragon. Since he's tapping out on his turn. Basically means that Aurelia um, can do exactly that. Well, maybe I have a chance. Might have been better to play Gindix just because it's more resilient to removal. But now his life total is pressure. That's why I hit him with the intervention. So essentially, he's got to deal with what I have. Then I'm going to try to bait out his counter magic with the Raptor. And see if I can get an Alpha Strike in with the formation. Baited. He got you baited. Now, if he still got a counter up, then it is what it is. But this was a real play I was going for. Yeah, boy, you got baited. You got baited. Um, I'm going to pump this to a three power creature. You bitch. <laughs> you dick. Okay, he had blink of eye. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. And that would have been that would have been pretty close to the game right there if I would have got that head tack in. Six pallet Aurelia. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely could have won this if I would have had some early game creatures to play. Damn. Blink of the eye. He thought that card would be so good. Now he can turn that thing into a 5-5, five five, but he can't really attack. He's probably got more 3 mana counter magic. Alright, let's bait out a counter. Not upset if this resolves. got a second counter if I were to guess. Um, I'd rather resolve the Phoenix. Do I go for resolve or do I go for killing his guy? No, because then he's going to blow me out. Um, Aurelia is probably going to be countered. I'm sure he's got a second counter in hand. Yep. And then he cannot... Can he still transform that thing? One, two, three, four. I think it's seven. Yeah. There we go. Alright. <sighs> Slowly grinding through all this fucking counter magic. Right? I need a land. One, two, three, four. Yeah, a land would be really good here. I think it costs 
cost eight. Yeah. Now what I've really been playing towards, my phoenix can be resolved. Last turn. Man, if he hadn't, if he didn't have that damn blink of the eye, or the fucking billion counter spells, yeah, this card is really hard to beat. think if I play this correctly. I have six land, meaning I can really up and still have that resurgence up. Next turn I can get a double combat in. Um, hmm. Let's do the Aurelia. Uh, trample so this damage is gonna get through for the most part. I am indeed worried about that Nif Mizzet. So he's taking five damage. I can make it seven. Ugh. I can make it seven. Or I can wait and kill him. Which I think is a better play. I killed that, but wouldn't have done anything. All right, see if he burns me out here. Yes. Yes, sir. No cookies. What do you want a cookie for? I want a cookie in my food. You eat all your food? No cookies right now, Papa. Later. Come look. Give me a second. Let me finish this guy off. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna finish this guy off. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. That's a monster guy. That's a monster guy. Like regular guy. The monster. Regular guy. Burger guy. Burger guy. Let me see. How am I gonna beat him? Beat him. Beat him now. Oh, he made a mistake. Uh, you come up. You think of what? You, you tell me you was on. You're the red ink. Are you red? So hot. Stop. So I do this. I attack with everybody. I attack with everybody. Yeah, you get all the superheroes here. Yeah, sure. yep. yeah. Now he's got to deal with these two guys. And if no. this doesn't kill him, unless he can counter it. I mean, I lose if this doesn't work, but I have a kill spell too. So as soon as he counters it, he's dead anyway. Yeah, he's dead. There's nothing he could do. I got him. Yeah. You got him? Yeah. I beat him. I won. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy's a champion. Come on. Come okay. Alright, well that's it.